Hi, welcome to Milk and Honey Heritage Farms, and I'm Heather, and I thank you all for being here, and I hope you're having a lovely day. So, this is an open collaboration, and I hope you all get on board so that we can share all of our recipes with everyone, because spring, summer, and fall, we eat a lot of salad type items. So, what it's going to be called is hashtag salad dressing roundup so you'd hashtag salad dressing roundup in your video and also tag me milk and honey heritage farm so i can put you in a playlist and i'm gonna run this all the way through let me get the calendar the month of may all the way until what day is that friday the 31st okay so it's about six weeks that we get to do this collaboration and all your recipes that you make at home making salad dressings. So let's get creative and show um, what we do at home or what we can do at home. If you've never done it, try something new. If you do have a favorite recipe, do that one. And let's just uh, get that going and into a playlist so that um, all of our friends can enjoy trying some new salad dressings and it can be for any kind of salad that you may use. So I'm going to show you one that I'm going to be doing and let me get you down here to see what I'm making. All right. Make sure you're all set up. Let me get the light on. I don't know if that makes it any better. So anyways, what I have here is a big measuring cup. And I'm going to be mixing balsamic vinaigrette. It says in the recipe that I'm using a fourth of a cup. So if I spill a little extra and it goes in the measuring cup, I'm fine with that. So approximately, as close as you can get, a fourth of a cup of balsamic vinaigrette. I just think I just said that wrong. Well, you know, that happens. <laughs> and then uh, two, two teaspoons of some Dijon mustard. And I took the lid off because I was not about to squeeze it and, you know, make some funny sounds again. All right, so there we have that in there. And then next we're going to add two teaspoons of, let me get this measuring spoon out of the way, um, some elderberry syrup. I make elderberry syrup and I keep them in these bottles here. So I'm adding two teaspoons. I actually need that measuring spoon back. It's got some Dijon on it, but that's okay because it's all going in. Whoop, got a little extra there. That's supposed to be two teaspoons of elderberry syrup, which I keep on hand in my refrigerator to use periodically through the week. Or I, I really enjoy putting it in my teas. Anyways, so back to the recipe. Now we're gonna add half a teaspoon of garlic powder, which I pre-measured. Then we're going to add half a teaspoon of fine salt. Whatever your fine salt choice is, half a teaspoon. All right. And then the next thing, the last thing, will be to add a fourth a cup of olive oil. Um, I try to use organic um, extra virgin olive oil. It's your choice. And I'm going to get that in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to whisk it and then we're going to put it in a container. All right, let's get this mixed up. It's going to be so good for you. So delicious to add to a salad. So you're going to whisk that up so that everything's nicely incorporated. And then you can, you know, double, triple, quadruple this batch as you wish. You can put it into a um, mason or curd jar. I use these airtight, leak-proof ball jars when I need to. 
so it needs to be an airtight container. Um, I also use um, sometimes these with the little lid thing. I mean, you can use any kind of something, uh, just a regular jar that you recycle um, from a product. So now, what are we going to do with this beautiful salad dressing? Well, let's set it aside and I will show you. Make sure you collect funnels of all different sizes. You never know what you'll need them for. We're gonna put it on a salad, but not just a salad. This is a salad that's tossed with different lettuces and herbs. And a nice array of vegetables. So if I can, which you know you can't always, um, I like to try and add multiple colors of vegetables into the dishes that I make because I feel like if you're eating a vitamin C here and a vitamin C here, you're gonna get a little bit different vitamin C um, in all that. So we're gonna put a little bit of this in the salad. This isn't a huge salad I've got here in this bowl. Um, and then we're gonna put some of that salad dressing on here. So this is called an elderberry balsamic vinaigrette dressing made here in my home. Mix that up a little bit. Get a few more tomatoes. Get all those nice colors going in the salad. Nice and healthy and fresh, enjoyable. And then every time that you use this, when you store it in your airtight container in the refrigerator, you're gonna wanna shake it up before using it. And I'm gonna put some of that on there. And give it a nice mix up. And then you can put it on a plate or you can display it on your table for a meal time. I did some cucumber rounds. Um, I've got, you know, red pepper, yellow pepper, onion, purple, and um, tomatoes. You know, make it pretty. And whatever you want to put in your toss salad, sprinkle some pepper on there, and voila. Now we have a fabulous. Um, salad here. So please get your videos made for entering into the salad dressing roundup. I really look forward to seeing all your wonderful salad dressings and we're going to do it all the way until May 31st. So that's six weeks so that way we can share with all of our friends. If you don't make content, please add in the comment section your salad dressing recipes and then maybe we can um, make them or just so that we can share with all our friends. So there you have it. Are you excited? I'm excited. Let's get these salad dressings going. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you on the next one.